We're brought up into this world knowing the words stranger danger, instilling fear into us of the unknown since we're so young. And because of that, the city is a cold and cruel place because every stranger is a danger. I arrived to this city as a lonely stranger a week before doomsday, aka lockdown. I didn't know a soul and no soul knew me. So I started messaging people on Facebook. I sent over 200 messages out to artists who were doing different things in this city, hoping to find someone whom, whom I could talk to or create with. And within them 200 messages, I got 50 rejections and the rest ignored. Not a single person wanted to meet me. I didn't know how to deal with this, so I started writing letters to another stranger who might feel like me too. And through this, people started messaging me. People started wanting to meet me, which was a strange, absurd idea. Who would want to meet me? And as time goes on, and the more letters I post, the more and more people I meet. And through these meetings, I make friends. And through friends, I find happiness. And through happiness, I find creativity. And now I don't feel like a lonely stranger anymore. Thanks to the letters that saved me. Melbourne taught me how to be punk. The feeling of loneliness and being an outcast and not fitting in was what drove me to the streets of the city and write and write and write and find stories with an unapologetic tone. I remember when I went to some underground literature stores in Melbourne, I told the clerk, hey, I'm new to Melbourne, is there any people you know who are interested in literature of the street? They looked at me, they looked at my shoes, which were some broken Adidas at the time, and said no. And obviously they knew, but they didn't want to let me into the circle. And I told them what I write about. I told them I write about the street and the people living there. And she looked at me as if I was stupid. And that was the moment I realised my work's not welcome here. My work's not welcome among the cool people of this city. So it's the street I go to. And fuck them. Fuck fitting in. I don't care if some hipster don't like my writing because they can go read something else. All I want to do is share the stories that too often go unheard in this world to passing strangers who might need this story to make them feel a little better when they think they're all alone in this big, cruel, bright city full of opportunity. If you're somewhere else in the world and you're not in Melbourne and you want to take part in this project, dear stranger, I would absolutely love it if you sent me your dear stranger and a picture on the street that you posted or a story you found from the street just send it to me and let's build a collective together I'm one guy who found art that helped me it gave me friendship that I'll never forget just by doing there's dreamers and doers in this world we have a dreamer who dreams about everything that could be but never get it done or doers who just do and things come true. Just fucking try. That's all we can do. And try as hard as you can, as if nobody is watching. Because there might be someone out there who might cherish what you do. And if there isn't, fuck it. Keep trying. To read my street writing, feel free to give me a follow on Instagram. Have a wicked day.